Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new Forest River Salem Hemisphere 308 RL. This is a triple slide out rear living room couples coach. We're going to take a few minutes, run you around the inside and then back to the outside of this new RV. Alright guys, we're now up inside the new Hemisphere 308 RL. And as you can see here, we're looking toward the rear of the coach. The back section back there has a trifold sofa, flips out, and makes into a full size bed. You have little end tables on both sides of the uh, sofa there, along with little uh, storage cabinets down there. Um, USB charger ports and electric outlets also on both sides of the sofa. Little overhead cabinet area there, which is pretty good amount of storage. Over to the left of the sofa area, you have your theater seat, which does recline back. You've got little lighted cup holders and little LED light strips down below there, along with little storage in the middle and two cup holders in the middle as well. Now, this particular unit was ordered with the freestanding table and four chairs, and you do have a little bit of storage underneath of the chair seats there. Nice big panoramic windows kind of looking out over your campsite there. And all of those windows actually open about 50%. So you could get a nice breeze on a good fall or early spring day. Spinning around over to the other side here, you have your big flat screen TV. Now the Hemisphere Camper comes standard with a TV in the living room. And there's TV hookups in the master bedroom, but it does not come with the actual TV. Down below, you have a little electric fireplace there, which uh, is basically a nice fancy space heater. But uh, they do look good, and at the same time, save you a little bit on propane. Jensen DVD stereo system there, so you do have a couple indoor speakers, and you also have some outdoor speakers as well, you'll see when we get out there. Nice big island kitchen here, and you have your heat vents coming out the side of the island instead of in the floor on this coach. High-rise pull-out sprayer faucet there. Pretty good-sized stainless sink. The unit has the Furion oven, which has the glass stove front. Three-burner cooktop, little LED lights built in. And then down below is a pull-out drawer, which kind of matches the look of the actual oven. They did matching appliances here as well with the Furion uh, stainless look on the fan up above with the built-in LED light. And the Furion stainless microwave look. There's an electric outlet underneath the microwave along with another USB charger port over there so you can plug in some things there as well. Plenty of drawers and cabinet space. A lot of storage area down below. Then over here next to the fridge you have a really big pantry area here. I'll open that up for you, give you a look at that. And it has a motion light in it, too. So you can turn the light on, which I have it in on mode. Uh, but you can also uh, turn it in motion mode, so it just automatically turns on when you open the door. And then you have a pretty good cabinet area over here. Another electric outlet and USB charger place on that counter there. But uh, plenty of room to plug in like a coffee pot or toaster oven and actually leave it kind of sit out. And down below that section is the electric box with the breakers and fuses. And they're using Shaw flooring in the camper. It's got a nice herringbone look to it. Don't forget, guys, to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos on these new RVs as they come in and out. The unit also has a pretty good arch to the inside roof, but a really big arch on the outside. You'll see when we get up there. I'll uh, take a picture of it for you. 
So they arch the roof really nicely to help with one interior height, but also the main reason is to help with water runoff and heavy storms and things like that. Then you do have a pretty little skylight up here so you can kind of get a little extra natural light in here. Now the unit comes standard with the um, 12 volt refrigerator system. This is an Everchill refrigerator, 10.7 cubic foot. And you have the freezer on top, refrigerator on bottom. And it does have a little metal flip uh, holder there to keep the doors closed when you are traveling I'm going to spin around here and check out the hallway and then into the bathroom area. So when you first walk into the coach, you walk right into your control section here. So you do have electric uh, awning buttons, the slide out buttons here, along with uh, another awning because this has two awnings on it. You'll see when we get outside. Another slide out button. So everything's kind of like right here, easy to use. You have three light switches, water pump, water heater. 12 volt tank heaters this was ordered with the uh, extended season package as well too that you'll see when we get outside that gives you extra insulation in the roof and floor and that actually is something that i've noticed a lot of dealers aren't ordering um, so having that extra insulation costs a couple hundred bucks but if you are a really hot summer camper or cold winter type of camper then having that extra insulation for a couple hundred bucks in the roof and floor is definitely a nice feature. Bathroom area here, it's got a decent amount of room to get in and out of the shower. Um, porcelain toilet there, it's foot flush toilet. And then you do have a, pan, a uh, little towel area, washcloth area, you know, linen closet kind of thing going on here. Seating area in the tub slash shower area. You got the triple glass slider there. Little storage under the sink area. And then you got a traditional medicine cabinet there. There is air conditioning vent in the bathroom along with a heat vent as well. I'm spinning around here toward the bedroom area. The bedroom has a sliding pocket door that's got a little magnetic catch on it there, so it will kind of stay closed. Plenty of room at the foot of the bed to maneuver around. You do have a little three dresser drawer over here. Nice big window in the bedroom here. And there's room to mount you probably about a 40 inch flat screen TV or so here on the sidewall. Electric outlet and USB charger there on the sidewall. Window on both sides of the bed, and again, they do open. There are also deep tent safety glass windows, little individual reading lights up above there in the slide out the bed also raises up and you can get to that from inside or outside and then you have a huge closet in here and this closet can be washer dryer ready if you want to uh, do a washer dryer in here so you've got hot and cold water lines and drain lines right there electric outlet for the washer Little cabinet shelving in here. Again, motion lights in the closet also. And then you have a spot for a dryer over there. And they kind of notch out this section here. So you can kind of step into the closet or put things down below there. And this whole big boxed in section is actually outside storage too. So you'll see that again when we get out on the outside of the RV. And those are big sliding doors there to close everything off. But pretty cool for a couple's coach if you are uh, you know, going to Florida for three or four months in the wintertime or something like that. This would make a great little apartment home to kind of take down there, set up. This particular unit was also ordered with the second air conditioner. 
which gives you 50 amp service. So you've got the second air built right in here into the bedroom area. We're going to take a few minutes and head on to the outside area, show you around the outside with some more cool features out there, dual awnings, things like that. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the new Forest River Hemisphere 308 RL travel trailer. And the Hemisphere product is actually the sister or brother product to the Wildwood Heritage Glen 308 RL as well. Um, they're basically clone products of each other, a few little tweaks as far as graphics and colors, but same unit built on the same assembly line uh, by the same people. And this particular unit, um, we're going to kind of run you around the outside here. You can see we have dual awnings on the unit. Both awnings are powered. You push a button, they go in and out. They have tiltable, adjustable arms for water runoff and things like that. Um, you also have LED light strips built into the awnings um, up there close to the body of the camper. So you have plenty of light out here for nighttime. There's two LED blue lit speakers up there as well. You have a large storage compartment you can see here it goes across the front section and you can kind of see in the picture there that it has the little light in the compartment along with a battery disconnect over on the other side. Now the little baggage doors are held up by magnetic clips instead of plastic clips. Down just to the left of that storage area is a power stabilizer jacks. You have front and rear power jacks. You can see there again in the picture popping up. So you push a button, they go up and down nice and easy. And they can be manually overridden if ever needed. Um, to the right of that power switch is also a hookup for a portable solar panel if you wanted to do some sort of polar portable solar. And just below the window there is the little pet-friendly dog attachment thing. So you could hook a little leash to it or another animal that you might have. You can leash them up so they don't just run off. The Lippert solid step going in and out of the coach there. So that does flip up into the doorway, but it comes down, touches the ground. Uh, it's just a little more stable and it holds more weight than the traditional RV step. So it's just a little easier to get in and out of the coach without shaking and rocking and rolling things. Um, large folding entry handle there that does kind of come down a little bit further than most of the entry handles on RVs. So that's a little bit nicer for the children or shorter challenge people. And right there is also your model number. And also you can see in the picture there, it has the extended season package put on it. Now the unit comes standard with enclosed underbelly and it now comes standard with 12 volt heat pads. But the extended season package actually puts extra insulation in the roof and floor. And a lot of dealers leave that option off. Um, so that is something to kind of keep an eye on when you are shopping and looking around. Does it have that extra insulation package in it? If you're camping in the extreme heat or extreme cold, that could make a big difference for you. Now, right below the window back there is a place to mount a TV and you got a cable and electric outlet hookup right there. Down below there you can see the rear power jack and also a little gas line hookup right there that will allow you to do some sort of portable grill. Typical four inch square two bumper. Spare tire mounted on the back does come with a cover you could see there. And you have a ladder on the back here cable and satellite hookups there next to the ladder and you can also see that big high arch in the roof that i was talking about so this thing when rain comes down and stuff it's really running it off um, there's some of the brands out there almost flat roofed and then some have a slight arch but they really do a nice arch on the roof of the hemisphere product and it's pre-wired up there for a observation or backup camera. Uh, I would definitely recommend the Furion observation camera. That is a nice feature that allows you to use it while you're driving down the road. Uh, so you can kind of see when you're trying to get over and, you know, people behind you, all that good stuff. 
This unit had 50 amp electric service, so you can see here the detachable power cord that would come with it if you do the 50 amp feature. And that is where it all kind of plugs up. Now coming around to this side here, uh, I also forgot to mention, you can see aluminum wheels down there that are standard on the coach. And up here on the slide out is the vent for your uh, stove exhaust right there. And then there's a little radio antenna also right there. And next to that, you can see the little yellowish sticker there. Um, that is pre-prepped for slide out awning toppers from the factory. So if you wanted to put slide out awning covers on these, that is an available option aftermarket, not from the factory, but aftermarket. And that can be done by your dealer. Six gallon gas electric water heater. And then you can also see there, they're getting this all pre-prepped, so it's got a little extra valve sticking out of it. But uh, city water, fresh water, and black tank flush uh, all right there in that little black square. Furnace exhaust up top there. And you do have two separate dumps. Again, this has washer dryer set up and everything. So the front dump section is a gray tank area for that. And then you have your back gray and toilet tank over here. Outside utility shower, hot and cold water there. And then here is the storage underneath the uh, bed area from outside. Again, a little magnetic clip holder. Spin back around here so you kind of see down the side a little bit better. Don't forget, guys, to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos. Also, definitely check out CouchesRVNation.com. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country and will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Now, here in the front section of the RV, you can see it uh, has a little taped up section there. It comes from the factory like that just to kind of help keep it uh, from getting chips and things like that in it when it's traveling down the highway. Uh, but you have two LED light strips, one up each side, three-quarter fiberglass cap on the front, lower diamond plate down below, uh, two 20-pound propane tanks standard on the RV. The 20-pounders are a little nice for exchange purposes. Uh, again, they don't hold as much, but you can just kind of exchange them out a lot easier than finding a place sometimes to refill them. Um, you also see the weight stickers popping up there with your gross weight and your axle weights and things like that. And then down below here is also your uh, weight sticker for the actual dry weight. Again, power tongue jack on the front, 2 and 5 16 hitch ball, comes with the bottle cover as well. And there's a battery that should come with it from your dealer if they choose to install it. Doesn't come with one from the factory, but most dealers at least put one on it. Um, definitely try to at least get one out of them if you can. Um, there are two spots, so you could do two batteries if you wanted to. Um, check them out. Uh, CouchesRVNation.com, guys. Again, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers. They let me do these videos for you guys. So definitely check them out. See if there's anything they can help you with.